pretty much. Um, I did actually build, I built a, a Turbo Divine Bond um, Lionar list that I quite liked. There was basically another all-in deck. Uh, this is it. So you're playing Aegis Barriers, Magnetize. Remember, the, remember when this was a staple? Um, you've got your usual early game. Got Azurite Lions, Windblades. Got Celebrants as the third two-drop of choice in this deck uh, because they let you play Iron Cliff Guardian on turn two, even going first, which is disgusting. Uh, Tempest because Xerix. Um, we've got Divine Bonds, some removal, and then kind of what you'd expect, really. Silver Guard Knight, Sojourner, Dualtas. Um, one thing you might not expect is these Owl Beast Sages. So this is partly inspired by the old Lionar Arcanist decks that were a thing back in the day. Um, I think Zuchi's played one a few times. Um, you would run Albi Sage and Aegis Barrier and cheap spells. This deck doesn't have that many spells, but obviously you've got a really good um, Bloodborne spell as well as a few cheap cantrips. Magnetize, which is both a positional trick and removal spell. Uh, kind of this deck's Hearth Sister. Um, so you can get your Albi pretty big pretty quickly. Even if you don't have any other Arcanists, because the rest of the deck is lying on good stuff. It's still quite a strong card. I found the list to be clunky because we're missing some of the removal that you might play normally. Like there's no Sunbloom, um, there's no Circle of Life, there's only... Oh, there's still three Holy Emulations. Play that deck. Alright, I'll play this deck. James Bond it is. <coughs> um, yeah, this is... It's like... It's a clunky... It's, it's a bit of a pile. Like if you curve out really well, it does dreamlike things and... If you get put on the back foot, you're looking for, like, there's no blood to your alchemist and you miss them a lot. No, not having a one drop for... Oh, it's Cranky Panda, hello. Not having a one drop for um, Holy Immolation sucks. Not having a ping for, like, random 4-1 Lava Slashes or whatever, that sucks too. Um, okay, how do we do this? Turn 1, turn 2, turn 3 seems good. With Aegis Barrier for backup. I don't know if keeping the bond is greedy here. Like, we probably want some removal. Then we're playing against Songhai. Tempest would be good, Martyrdom would be good, we don't have Sunbloom, but if we did, that would be good. All your decks are piles. That is true. I have been brewing. Um, I think it's important to, like, tinker with stuff and try and find ways to... Try and find ways to beat your opponents rather than just be your opponents, if you know what I mean. So I don't, I don't usually build strict net decks unless I just want to try them out. Um, I think I'll just keep this. Uh, I do want another... No, I'll just keep this. I'm okay with... Oh, there we go. They're perfect. Um... Yeah, I kind of like having... Uh, I played Polarity because I thought it would help me beat Magma as a Fae. Like, um, it gives you extra burst, it helps you race. Ah, kind of... This card is so good in River. Like, so good. Um, we can throw Celebrant under the bus here. I don't know if it's worth it. <clears throat> like, we can play him there instead. No, that doesn't help much. I may as well play him on the middle tile. I think my opponent probably wants this mana tile. They're probably going to play like an Owl Beast Sage up here or something. Um, let's put this... There's a bit greedy. We can get punished for that. Let's put it here. And I'll put my Lion down. Nice and safe at the back. And I'll just keep all these cards. This combo is really good against Songhai. Oh nice, that's a good draw. Um, but yeah, generally, I, I like to brew, I like to experiment, because it helps me learn. Um, so, and I also, I don't like to play, just play the top decks of a given matchup, of a given meta, because it will, like, I can get a 50% matchup against the same deck, right? Like, I can't go above that very easily. Right, we get to make a really nice play now, which is we can come up here... Come down here. Punch this guy. In the words of me from Overwatch, let's see you get past this. Boring. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Sack an Iron Cliff for next turn. He just barrier is great against everything but Fey and Dispels. Yes, that is very true. Um, but it's, it's especially funny against Songhai, because they often don't have like big minions to trade with. Like, Silhouette Tracer is good here. Had this happen before. But we can catch up with the other Ironcliff. 
Yeah, this is the opponent's playing Silvite Tracer. Probably gonna kill this. Yeah. Although it's standing next to me, so we can uh, we can take two charges off the artifact and drop another Iron Cliff down, or we can roar this guy. I think I prefer having the provoked body there. Um, I suppose locking this up isn't really worth it, but it's probably better than not doing it. Just to give me a bit more room to maneuver on the board. Doubt he's running Heartseeker support. Yeah, probably. But. I don't know where to put this guy. Let's go here. Boom! So then. Onyx Bear. We can <laughs> we can magnetize this. That'll that'll get him. Yeah, this is a, this is a really weird matchup. I've played I've played this one before. Um, not this player, but um, this kind of matchup with this deck before, and it's really odd. Like she did the exact same thing. It was like um, I played a massive. I played an Ironcliff Guardian in my opponent's face, and they silhouette. Yeah, this is exactly the same thing that happened last time. I put in a double silhouette tracer. Um, and I just kept chasing them around with provokes, and eventually they ran out. Um, which is going to happen now, I think. Because we've got a Silver God Knight. We can do Silver God Knight Sojourner, or we can roar. Hmm. I guess we can probably ignore this guy if we just lock it up with the Iron Cliff. I guess I want to attack face here. Just to reduce my opponent's power. Then we can come in here. Play this. Play this. Box this guy in kind of uselessly. I'm going to attack it so I can try and get it off the board. Just to minimize killing edge damage. Same here. Oh, magnetize! Yes! <laughs> So we have an answer to the third one. In before Pandemonium Ghost Lightning. Oh, you make a good point. I forgot about that completely. That would be really bad. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't have it. Rip Celebrant. This is still fine, though. Like, we can still clear the Crescent Spear next turn. We can heal off Trinity Oath. We can even bring this guy in. Um, which might be useful. With the Magnetize. We're on 11, though. That's pretty low. Although my opponent's only down to two cards in hand. Not too bad at all. Right, let's see... Holy Immolation. I'm just gonna run this lady in. Nope. It's alright. Um. Hmm. I think I need to. I need to heal. I don't know if I absolutely have to draw the cards, but I want to heal. And I can still magnetize and roar, so we've got some good stuff going on there. This little bit of extra healing makes me a bit more comfortable about potentially clearing... Oh, there's Immolation. Ooh, that'll be good for next time. Potentially clearing the artifact of my face. Um, oh yeah, we can, I can bring them both in. I kind of want to kill these Silhouette Tracers. I'm not sure if my opponent's playing Killing Edge, but I don't want to get caught out. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is kill this, kill this, magnetize this guy, attack, and we may as well roar it. So my opponent can't trivially kill this, um, and also has to deal with this one. So we might 
just see a couple of Phoenix Fires here. That's still fine, that's most of my opponent's hand. And we have a 4-1. So we're in good shape, mostly. Like, we can we can definitely still lose this game, but we're in good shape. Um, that does not look like a Grandmaster Zendo. It doesn't look like anything, actually. Maybe like another Silhouette Tracer. Joke's on you, I have third Magnetize. Oh, there's, yeah, two lines, I think. Right. So, four. Um, this goes up to seven. That's nine. Sixteen. GG. This is why no one likes Holy Immolation. I'm gonna BM slowly. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no patience for the BM. So that's what happens when the deck works. Uh, it doesn't always do that, but when it does, it does usually win.